Good evening. My presentation is reading British Vernier Caliper with 0.001 inch resolution. Sometimes this type of Vernier Caliper is called the decimal Vernier Caliper because the, because the reading comes in a decimal style. So as you see here in this photo, we have one system. We have a British or inch system in both in the top and below. In the top, we have a resolution of 1 by 128 of an inch. And below, we have the same system. But as you see here, the value of the resolution is 1 thousandths of an inch. Let's first understand how to read the graduations of the main scale. As you see here, this is the one inch on the main scale. And this one inch is simply divided into 10 partitions. So each partition is equal to one tenth of an inch. So the reading of this line on the main scale is one tenth inch. This reading is two tenths of an inch. This line is read as three tenths of an inch. This line is the four tenths of an inch. This is the point five inch. And this is the one complete inch on the main scale. So this is the way how to read the main lines on the main scale. If you see here, the one tenth of an inch is equally partitioned into four divisions. So the smallest division on the main scale is simply is the division of one tenth by four. So one tenth by four is simply 0 0.025 inch. So the one tenth of an inch on the main scale is divided into four equal partitions. So each partition is simply 0 0.025. So the, the reading of the first line here is 0 0.025 inch. The second line is read as 0 0.050 inch. The third line is read as 0 0.075. And this is line point one or one tenth, which is the same as point one zero zero. Our final reading comes in three decimal places, so it's better to read any line in three decimal places. So this is the way how to read the lines on the main scale. For example, if we need to read this line. So we have one complete inch. So we have one inch. And after the one inch, we have four divisions here. And these four divisions is 0.4. And after the 0.4, we have a small reading or minimum reading. So the reading is 1.425 of an inch. So this is the reading of the main scale. Now we should understand how to read the lines of the vernier scale. As you see here, the vernier scale here is divided into 25 equal partitions. So the first line is read as 0 0.001 inch or one mil inch. The second line is read as two mils inch. The 
third line is read as 0 0.003 inch the tenth line on the vernier scale is read as 0 0.010 inch the fifteenth line on the vernier scale is read as 0 0.015 Line number 20 is read as point zero twenty, etc. So this is the way how to read the main scale and how to read the vernier scale. Now simply we can read any vernier caliber from this design. So let's start with this example here. In order to read the main scale we consider this zero line on the vernier scale to be the reference so the last line on the vernier scale before the zero line on the vernier is this line so the distance from the zero line on the main scale till this line is point six hundred And we have three small partitions here, and each partition is equal to 0 0.025. So the reading of these three divisions is 0 0.075 of an inch. So the reading of this line is point. 675 so this is the reading of the main scale now we should read the vernier scale as we see here we have 25 lines on the vernier scale one of these 25 lines should line up with one line on the main scale as you can see here this line which is line number 14 on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale so line number 14 on the vernier scale is read as 0 0.014 of an inch so the total reading here the zero means that we don't have any full inch this is the reading of the main scale and this is the reading of the vernier scale so the total reading is 0.689 inch let's see this example here as you see here we have here the line of two complete inch so the reading of this caliper is greater than one inch and less than two inch so we have one complete inch after the one complete inch the reading of the main scale we take this line to be the reference so we should read this line on the main scale and this line is simply line point 350 of an inch so this is the reading of the main scale now we should read the vernier scale we should search for one line which line up with one line on the main scale as you see here line number six on the vernier scale lines up with the above line on the main scale so the sixth line on the vernier scale is read as 0 0.006 of an inch so the total reading we have one full inch and the part of an inch is 0.350 and the reading of the vernier scale is 0 0.006 inch so the total reading is 1.356 inch let's read this example here as you see here we have one complete inch so the reading is greater than one inch so we consider this line to be the reference for reading the main scale so we should read this line so this line is line point zero twenty five of course after the one inch regarding the reading of the vernier scale as you see here 
line number 13 on the linear scale lines up with one line on the main scale so this line is read as 0 0.013 of an inch so the total reading this is the whole inch and this is the part of the inch and this is the reading of the vernier scale so the total reading is simply 1.038 inch let's take this example here as you see in the above this is the complete two inch so after the two inch this is the reference line in order to read the main scale so we should read this line and this line is simply 0.250 of an inch regarding the reading of the vernier scale line number 12 on the vernier scale lines up with one line on the main scale so the vernier reading is 0 0.012 of an inch so the total reading here this is the full inch we have two complete inch and this is the reading after the two inch on the main scale and this is the reading of the vernier scale so the total reading is 2.262 inch as you see in this caliper we have a metric system graduation below so simply you can read the metric system and you can simply ensure for your reading by converting the inch reading to metric reading for example the reading of the metric system this is the reference line so we should read this line on the main scale and this line is line number 57 so 57 point as you see here the vernier scale is divided into 50 partitions so each partition is simply 0 0.02 mm so this is the resolution of the metric system now we should check for one line on the vernier scale which lines up with one line on the main scale as you see here we can consider this line to be the reading of the vernier scale so this line is line number 44 so this is the reading of the metric system now you can simply convert this reading in inch into millimeter of course by dividing by 25.4 so your converting result should be very close to this value it shouldn't be the same it might be the same but it should be very close to the the value here in amam so this is about how to read the decimal vernier caliper or the 0.001 inch vernier caliper thanks for your watching goodbye